live broadcast comes from the United States, where for the last two weeks, the city of Portland has resembled a battleground. The city has witnessed nights of violence since Trump's federal forces descended on Portland. While protests in the city have been taking place for nearly two months now, Trump's recent deployment of forces has plunged Portland into utter chaos. The clampdown has drawn widespread criticism from officials across the country, both Democrats and Republicans. Portland mayor even called it an abuse of federal power. But even with the widespread backlash, police forces continue to be present in large numbers across the city. The forces were also seen using flashbang grenades, pepper spray and tear gas and even arresting protesters. The US president even hit back at the Portland protesters calling them anarchists who hate our country. He even accused a line of mothers who formed a human chain to defend other protesters of being a scam. In the city of Seattle, over 45 people were arrested during the latest protests. According to Seattle police, these demonstrators have been accused of starting a riot. Police in riot gear was also clashing with protesters, with some holding umbrellas to protect themselves against the onslaught of pepper spray. This was the largest turnout that the city has seen in weeks. This comes after Trump expanded the deployment of federal police to Seattle also, amid widespread backlash from officials and protesters. In the city of Austin, a protester was shot dead during demonstrations against police brutality. In the video on your screens, a car was seen driving through the protest before shots are fired. According to an eyewitness, protester was shot when the driver opened fire from the car. Major cities in the U.S. have now witnessed massive violence over the recent deployment of federal forces. Demonstrators now see the deployment as a ploy by the Trump administration to campaign heavily on a platform of law and order just four months ahead of the presidential elections. Our correspondent Jagruti Dave joined us earlier from Washington, D.C. Let's listen into what she said. Sure, there have been protests in many cities, including Portland, consistently since the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis in May. Um, but the issue in Portland is um, really to do with the fact that um, President Trump sent in uh, federal agents to quell the protests there. And um, the Trump administration said that they were sent to protect federal buildings from some of the damage and vandalism that has been occurring um, whilst protests have been going on. Um, and the issue in Portland was, according to reports, many of the federal agents who were there were not visibly marked in any way, and they were detaining protesters for no reason whatsoever, um, sometimes whisking them away way in cars, again, without giving any justification. And this is what's really caused a lot of um, consternation on the ground by both activists and local lawmakers. You mentioned the mayor of Portland there and his criticism being one of them. Now, President Trump has expanded the uh, use of federal agents in other cities, but the Department of Justice has said that they are uh, not going to be using the same kind of federal agents in cities like uh, Chicago that they did in Portland. Portland. Um, in Chicago, the issue is um, to go to send these agents in to assist local law enforcement officers um, to deal with um, a spate of violent crime in the city. But the mayor of that city, mayor of Chicago, was also very concerned about the presence of federal agents, in particular if they were going to be the sort that were seen in Portland. Um, some said other cities are open to help from federal officers, but they don't want to see what happened in Portland. And so to say it's a resurgence, there actually have been protests continually going on throughout the United States in many shapes and forms, um, as I say, since May. Well, this is um, part of the Trump administration's push um, to present uh, the, the to, to present their policies as the asserted the assertion of law and order. President Trump wants to cast himself as that sort of Nixonian uh, character, president a president of law and order in the run up to the election in November. And some critics of the president say that all of this is really distraction from his mishandling of those protests when they first kicked off. 
um, in Washington, D.C. and other places, but also his mishandling of what the, of the coronavirus pandemic, which as critics say um, is, go, is shaping the way voters perceive him in the election. So a lot of this is distraction uh, efforts to try to, uh, ru- to try to galvanize his base and sort of present himself as a, as, as a picture of, of law and order. But President Trump has defended his decision to send in federal agents to these cities, saying that he's sending them in to protect federal buildings. He is doing it to restore law and order amidst um, the escalation of violence in some cities and um, the uh, clashes uh, between protesters and law enforcement that has happened during protests in other cities. Um, but as I say, local uh, officials on the ground say that actually the presence of federal agents has in fact made things worse. Let's now shift our attention to the bilateral ties between India and Sri Lanka.